Hello friends, today we are going to learn a new topic, perimeter and area. Before learning area, let's talk about the perimeter. Once we understand what is perimeter, then we can easily learn area also. So to understand area, pro uh, sorry, to understand perimeter properly, uh, let me make a small house. Suppose this is a small house. It's not looking like house. Well, I'm just trying to make it house. This is the gate the door and these are the small window this is the roof okay suppose this is a small house and uh, this is the way to go outside okay and uh, the owner of this house have this much amount of land suppose this much amount of land that I have closed uh, with this let me close this all with this yellow color okay uh, the area uh, you know the whole land closed by this this yellow color is the land uh, is the total land of this house owner okay and uh, there are some grasses let's suppose okay these are the grasses here are some trees also suppose this is uh, a land that's it okay and the house owner you know wanna protect this land by making some fencing right he wants to make some wall or you can say some kind of fence around this house okay and uh, to do so is putting some locks like this okay so this is the bar or you can say a kind of wall he's making here to protect his land right and this is the gate suppose fine so what is perimeter you know perimeter is the total length of a closed figure right you understand this is a closed figure this land whole land uh, let me do with another color suppose with this uh, with this pink color I'm doing right this this whole is the land this whole pink color part is the land it's a closed land which is covered right which is protected by or you can say which uh, which is protected or covered by this this uh, this wall or by this fence right so what I can say it's just a boundaries some of the length of the boundaries or you can simply say the the bound the length of the boundaries this whole boundary length of this whole boundary it's not good the length of this whole boundary is called the perimeter is called the perimeter fine suppose this whole uh, this whole fence length is uh, around uh, 150 meters suppose so here 150 is the perimeter of this of this land right and if you suppose uh, if you cut this whole fence somewhere mm, somewhere like uh, here suppose you are cutting right and if you elongate it properly then it will be something like uh, like something like this okay and this is the bar it will be something like this and its length should be 150 meter right so this much lengthy fence we need to make around this land right and this length is the perimeter again of this land so I think you understand what is perimeter suppose I have a triangle like this I have a triangle like this and uh, the sides of this uh, triangle A B C let me suppose this is 5 centimeter this is 5 and this is 3 centimeter and this is 4 centimeter so what is the perimeter of this what is the perimeter of this triangle ABC and as I told you already that perimeter is just the sum of the length of the boundary sum of this AB BC and the AC right AC or you can say CA so sum of the length of any closed figure is the perimeter as I told you already so here 
this whole sum of this whole sides of the triangle is the perimeter again so here AB is here 5 BC is here 3 and CA is here 4 right so 5 plus 3 8 and 8 plus 4 12 12 centimeter is the perimeter of this triangle any kind of triangle suppose this is either either like this or like like this any kind it is or we don't care about this or it may be something like something like this we don't care just get the sum of all sides all the sides right suppose this is 4 this is 5 and this is 9 then just sum this all 4 5 and then 9 so it is altogether 18 18 centimeter is the perimeter this side this side and this side sum of the all length here also add this part this part and this side all these three sides add all the three sides you will get the perimeter of the triangle right now let's talk about the quadrilateral suppose I have a quadrilateral something like this okay and uh, suppose the length of this part let me give some name this is a b c and d suppose this is uh, 4 centimeter this is 5 centimeter this is 3 centimeter and this is suppose again 6 centimeter suppose just suppose okay so what is the perimeter of this figure of this quadrilateral again the sum of this length this length this length and this length is called the perimeter of this this quadrilateral so let me write here perimeter will be 4 that is a b right mm, yeah and then this bc part that is 5 centimeter and then cd part the cd part that is 3 centimeter and then ad part this ad part which is 6 centimeter so it is 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 3 12 12 plus 6 18 so 18 centimeter is the perimeter of this quadrilateral and uh, if you know again I'm, 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 I want to tell you suppose if you cut somewhere like this here you are cutting and if you stretch this whole length then it will be something like this and the length of this uh, let me do with, uh, with yellow color only so so length of this whole uh, you can say a rope or something like that should be 18 centimeter because the perimeter of this quadrilateral is 18 centimeter so when I will cut somewhere and if you uh, if I will stretch this whole this whole length right properly uh, in a straight line then it should be 18 centimeter right so if I have a f uh, four poles at the corner of this quadrilateral and I have a uh, I have a rope and I wanna tied this all sides with a rope then I need how much lengthy rope I need 18 centimeter lengthy rope to tie all this four corners or four poles I think you understand what is perimeter perimeter means again the sum of the all length of the outer boundaries or sum of the outer boundaries is the perimeter again okay now let's talk about some special case of uh, quadrilateral uh, like uh, let's talk about rectangle okay so in rectangle is something like this this is my rectangle suppose the lines are not straight I'm sorry well this is length and let's suppose the length is 4 centimeter and the breadth here is 2 centimeter okay this is a B C and D this is a rectangle with a length 4 centimeter and the breadth 2 centimeter and we know that in a rectangle the opposite sides are equal so again this length is also 4 centimeter and this breadth is also 2 centimeter I mean you say breadth and the lengths are equal right so what is the perimeter of this rectangle again the perimeter of this rectangle should be the sum of the boundaries right sum of the length of these boundaries so let me add this all first let me add this length that is AB and then this length or you can say this breadth that is BC and then this length that is CD okay and finally the last one that is AD or you can say DA okay so this is first AB is here 
AB is here 4 cm BC is here 2 cm CD is here 4 cm again and DA is here 2 cm again right so 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 4 10 plus 2 12 so here 12 cm is the perimeter of this rectangle right this is a rectangle so all angles are 90 degree so in another way if you talk about the perimeter of a rectangle here if you look closely very closely then then you'll find again see this length and this length are equal or in another way in the terms of length L and breadth B uh, you can say the perimeter of this rectangle ABCD is this length right I'm talking about this length plus this breadth right plus this length again plus this breadth right so altogether how much length you got you got equal two length so I can write 2L and you got two equal breadth so I can write here two breadth right and since there are two length and two breadth so I can write perimeter equals to two I'm taking common so it will be length plus breadth and this is the formula to find out the perimeter of a rectangle okay so keep this formula in mind by uh, by getting this formula directly you can uh, by by knowing this formula you can directly find out the perimeter here okay so le let me try this here in this figure only whether we are getting or not with this formula so perimeter in this formula uh, in this figure with this formula is 2 times length plus breadth length here is 4 and breadth here is 2 centimeter so 2 4 plus 2 that is 6 and again 2 times 6 that is 12 centimeter and yes we got the same value right so it means we can find out easily the perimeter of a rectangle by using this formula right that is perimeter equals to again 2 times length plus breadth okay so please keep this formula in mind this formula will be very helpful to us at many places and after this let's talk about the rectangle let's talk about rectangle uh, no, not rectangle about the square and we everybody know how is a square a square is a figure which have all the four sides equal it's a closed figure right and uh, which, uh, which has all the sides equal again suppose this is of uh, I can say this is of 3 centimeter this is also of 3 centimeter this is also of 3 centimeter this is also of 3 centimeters so all the sides here all the sides of this square are same and that is 3 3 3 3 centimeter so what is the perimeter of this square again the perimeter of the square should be the sum of the all side right so the sum of the first this three side this side that is 3 and then this side and then this side and the last side whatever it is okay this 3 so 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 3 3 6 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 3 12 so again the perimeter of this square is 12 centimeter right just add the boundaries add all the sides of any closed figure you can easily find out the perimeter right and uh, if you find out the perimeter of the square in the form of a right a that that represents the side of the square then it will be something like see uh, first let's let's add this part uh, it's not looking cool you cannot understand I think the colors are not so good fine I'm, I'm first adding this part this side a and again this side that is a and again this side whose length is again a again this side whose length is a because in a square all the sides are equal so a times a plus a plus a plus a four time a that is four time a so perimeter of a square is four times the side four time a right perimeter equals to four times the length of the square so this is the formula to find out the perimeter of a square so let's find out again the perimeter of this square with this formula it will be perimeter will be again four times the side right four times the side and side here is three centimeter so four times three that is twelve centimeter 
so again we got the same value right both are matching so now further in any problem we can easily use this formula to find out the perimeter of a square uh, and you know I want to tell you just whether any kind of figure it is whether they are regular figure irregular figure any kind of figure it is suppose I'm making something like this okay this is an arrow and I want to find I, I want to find out the perimeter of this arrow and uh, let me tell you this is 3 centimeter this is also 3 centimeter this is suppose 1 centimeter this is 1 centimeter this is again 3 centimeter this is again 3 centimeter and this is again 1 centimeter so what is the perimeter of this figure this closed figure what next thing you need to uh, uh, you need to keep in mind that the figure should be closed if the figure is not closed then we cannot find out the perimeter okay so the figure must be closed and in two dimension okay generally we find out the perimeter in two dimensions like in plane right like this your computer screen or laptop screen or your book or anything or your table these all are the you know uh, the, the surface of the table these all are plane right so what is the perimeter here again so let's add all the sides again as uh, we did in previous examples so let me add first this part and then this part that is one centimeter again then this part that is three centimeter this is not seven okay this is plus sign and this this side that is three and then this part that is one and then this part that is three and this part that is again one so let's add this all the boundaries all the length of this boundary so three plus one four plus three seven seven plus three ten plus one eleven plus three fourteen plus one fifteen so perimeter of this figure of this closed figure is 15 centimeter just add all the length of the boundaries right just add the sum uh, means add just the uh, just add the boundaries that is your perimeter I think you understand what is perimeter exactly and in next video we'll be doing a couple of problems of perimeter and then we'll be learning about the area okay so keep watching on and if you like my videos please subscribe me I'll be really